speaking of people I don't like, I didn't even know of this person, but I don't like her. This Tiffany Cross on MSNBC, I've never heard of her till this morning. I saw this clip. Um, I don't know, is she, does she host a regular show or she was a guest host? Is it a, is it a regular show? I'm not even sure. Uh, but she went on a highly racist rant this morning. Completely racist rant. So I'm gonna play her racist rant. And I want you to think, as you're watching this rant, have you ever heard anything this racist on, a, on Fox News? Because I'm guessing you haven't. Here we go. Okay, Carlos Watson, Sade Steele, Van Jones. What do these three folks have in common? Well, they're all people who have been prompted up by wealthy or powerful white Americans, and yet we, the keepers of the culture, don't really rock with any of them like that. Now, obviously, the three of these folks are most definitely black faces. However, they are not necessarily black voices. And there's a difference. Let me explain. Take a listen to these half-witted, self-hating remarks from Sade Still. Barack Obama chose black and he's biracial. I'm like, well, congratulations to the president. That's his thing. I, I think that's fascinating consider, considering his black dad was nowhere to be found, but his white mom and grandma raised him. But hey, mm -hmm. you do you. <laughs> what? So that is undoubtedly a black face, whether or not she knows it, but it is most definitely not a black voice. Yet I'm sure someone is giving themselves a big diversity pat on the back by having that modern day minstrel show Sage step and fetch it on the airwaves spewing her continued nonsense. Now let's listen to Jeff Bezos's black friend Van Jones after a Donald Trump speech. He became president of the United States in that moment. Okay. Now, let's be clear. Van and Carlos are far from being sage, but there's certainly something to be said about wealthy and powerful white people elevating certain voices over others. By now All right, people. I put on my very smart news anchor fake glasses. I don't wear glasses. These are not prescription. They're just fake glasses, which is what these clowns are wearing all the time, but now I look a little smarter. I sound like someone who knows what he's talking about, right? That woman, everything she just said right there was racist. Uh, to clear it up, I said I wasn't sure if she's a guest host or has a show. She has a weekend show. She took Joy Reid's weekend slot when they upgraded Joy Reid to the weekday over there. Okay, nobody cares about the MSNBC programming. I mean, nobody's watching and nobody cares, but every now and again, we gotta cover this, this lunacy because for the 10 people that do watch, I wanna help these people, you know? Uh, but she's a racist, that woman. She is a racist. She looks at black people, Sage Steele, Van Jones, et cetera, and she sees black people who don't behave how she wishes they behave, and she's basically saying they're not black, her line. They're black faces, but they're not black voices. Well, she also called Sage, uh, Sage Steele self-hating. Uh, everything Sa Sage Steele said there was perfectly fine. You know, she made a true commentary on Barack Obama. Sage Steele, by the way, no one hated Sage Steele until last week. She's been an ESPN reporter for probably 15 years or so. Nobody hated her until last week. Then last week, she just said that she didn't want ESPN uh, forcing people to be vaccinated, that you should make choices for yourself, You know, talk to your doctor, my body, my choice kind of stuff. Now she's a right-wing maniac funded by white people, as this lunatic says. Uh, Van Jones, by the way, also is a liberal. He is a liberal. He's too liberal for me at this point, right? He's like sort of just like a Bill Maher style liberal um, who occasionally reaches out to the other side, right? Uh, he's, he's had talks with Candace Owens. He sometimes reaches out to people on the right. I'd be happy to talk to him, by the way. Um, but if, imagine if a host on Fox News did what she just did there. Here are black people who are sellouts, thus are not black. Which by the way, this is what, here wait, I'll, I'll do it with my glasses to make a real point. This is what the lefty media does with all minorities. They treat them like pets, okay? This is what they do. You may remember when Peter Thiel came out of the closet years ago and Out Magazine, which is a big LGBTQ LMNOP magazine, said that he's not gay. Sure, he has sex with dudes, but he's not gay because being gay is about a political ideology, not simply your sexual preference. So they will take away your sexuality, just like this woman just took away the skin color of Van Jones and Sage Steele. These are not good people.
I don't like them very much. I don't like their ideas. And I don't know why they're on television. And by the way, when she's talking about wealthy white people that give these people money and put them on TV, uh, does she know she's on TV? Does she know that uh, MSNBC is a big corporate conglomerate? That uh, you know, she, he doesn't know. Connor has no freaking idea. If she knows that, we don't know. We don't know.